Okay, copy the passenger is feeling better, oxygen has been administered, and you're just requesting for paramedics to meet the flight. These doctors handle medical emergencies 24 hours a day from all over the world. They may be from commercial airlines or private aircraft, as well as from ships and yachts, and even from remote land locations such as mines and oil fields. Whatever the location, for those in charge, such incidents pose major challenges. Well, obviously a medical emergency when you're in flight is a very uh, unnerving experience for the captain because there are so many uh, conflicting requirements, the requirements for the patient, but also the requirements for the other 200 or so people on the aircraft. The decision to make a medical diversion can sometimes be very demanding and unsettling indeed. If you have no help, uh, you, you have to make very difficult decisions without very much information and part of the reason we've been so interested in telemedicine is because it gives the captain of the aeroplane much more uh, robust data on which to make those very, very challenging decisions. This incident takes place on a commercial flight, but the technology can be applied to almost any other remote location, whether on land, at sea or in the air. So what I'm going to do is this earpiece, I'm going to connect to my ear and then I will be able to contact the doctors on the ground, okay. all right? Medlink, this is Mary. Please state your company name. My name is Christabel and I'm on a BMI flight. It's the BD891 to Moscow and this is a Tempest call. Okay, copy that. I do show that we are connected to the Tempest. Okay, I have a passenger on board. His name is Chris Hannon and he's 37 and he's been complaining of chest pains and he's extremely pale. Copy that. Can you please start by obtaining a still photo of this passenger's head and torso? Over. Okay. BD91, please be advised we have received the photo image of your passenger. If you could please go ahead and obtain the passenger's pulse and blood pressure. Over. How are you feeling? You alright? Yeah. Okay, is that alright? That's fine, thank you. And BD91, we have received a pulse of 70 beats per minute. BD91, we have received a blood pressure reading of 161 over 91. Okay, great. If you could please go ahead and obtain a video image of this passenger. A video image, okay. And BD91, uh, just be advised, we have received the video image. Now, um, there is some concern regarding the passenger's heart. Could you please go ahead and obtain an ECG reading, over. Okay. It's going to feel a little bit tight. Doesn't look too bad, really, does it? In BD91, be advised, we have received the ECG readings. There's no current concern regarding the ECG reading. If you can go ahead and take the next step, which is obtaining the passenger's temperature. Over. Tempus is linking to the thermometer. I'm going to pop this into your ears for a couple of seconds to take your temperature. And BD91, we have received the passenger's temperature. Over. That's great. Please be advised the Medlink physician has reviewed the passenger's vitals and he is happy with the passenger's status. At this time, you may continue to your destination. There's no need for diversion. Okay, thank you very much, Mary. Tempus IC can be used over existing communication links, including 2K4 board and broadband SATCOM communications, GSM, Ethernet and Wi-Fi landlines, and portable or fixed satellite terminals. So it helps you in a number of ways. Um, the first way it helps them is it's a decision support tool. So obviously customers have to be confident that they're doing the right things. In many scenarios in aviation, diversion is not really an option or desirable. 
and this is even more so in maritime as you can actually be days away from port. Our customers have a strong duty of care to their employees and to people that they're transporting. They don't want to divert the vessel or the aircraft if they don't need to. That can be very disruptive for other passengers, very disruptive for other individuals involved and actually can be quite embarrassing for the person who you know, was presented as unwell. Tempus IC adds significant value to the management of the situation, enables everybody to know that they're doing the right things and do it in a timely fashion and make sure they always make the right decision. Tempest actually allows our customers to reduce their litigation risk because it allows them to show that they've taken every reasonable step possible to ensure that they can provide the maximum quality of care, whether the customer is in a remote location or on some sort of transport system like an aircraft in flight or a boat at sea. And it also provides a full audit trail for everything that was carried out during the course of the management of the incident. And actually reducing litigation risk is one of the key drives for many of our customers who purchase Tempest IC. Tempus is designed to be portable and lightweight so you, you take it off the plane to your hotel room or to your encampment or to the place where you're staying and it's designed so it can work over pretty much any communications link so it can work from all those different environments to get immediate access to healthcare advice and infrastructure that you trust. Going to a country where the healthcare infrastructure isn't something that you're familiar with can be rather unsettling even if you're just feeling a little bit unwell. It's really important to be able to get that critical advice and obviously in more serious situations it can make a significant difference to the treatment protocols and the outcome. But in all these scenarios Tempest RC helps you access the best quality of care quickly, literally minutes in a medical incident.